just happened to be in the neighborhood. I thought I'd drop by. I wonder if I could please... Bleeding. I'm sorry, you Elaine. You wanted me on the sofa. Why didn't you just point to it? I didn't want you on the sofa. I'm sorry, Elaine. Let me see your lip. It's a bleeding lip. You've seen them before. Let me have your handkerchief. Okay, here. Yeah. Stupid idiot. I don't know why I kissed you so hard. It was a terrific kiss. A little pointy, maybe, but very nice. Help me up. Yeah. It stopped. Here, you better burn this. Yeah. How about a little more scotch? How about a lot more? You packed the glasses already? You didn't wax the floors, too, did you? Some klutz I am, huh? World's champion Olympic klutz. Listen, it was the best two minutes we've had. I'm not one to knock a little physical contact. Boy, I never saw anybody could change moods so quickly. I don't think you're as tough as you like to sound. Are we gonna hold hands now? I wish I could figure you out. I wish I knew what was going on in that brain of yours right now. Listen, we're not gonna get on one of those talking things again, are we, without cigarettes? What were you like as a little girl? Fat and pimply. Don't you even smoke a pipe? All I need is a couple of drags. My God, is that the only thing you can think of? Is that the most important thing in your life right now? Isn't there anything else more important to you than a lousy, goddamn, mentholated, filter tip cigarette? Well, what else are you offering that's more enjoyable? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to get to know you as a human being. Is there anything wrong with that? No, not if we didn't have to be out by five. If you wanted information, I could have filled out a form in the restaurant. Tell me the truth. Would you be a lot happier if I started ripping your clothes off and jumping all over you? Just a pure physical animal act? Is that what you would prefer? Well, it would be a nice way of breaking because the ice. Because if that's what you would prefer, I can certainly accommodate you. Okay, accommodate me. Okay, come here. No, I can't. I just think that's crude. I, 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 I may not know you very well, but I, I thought we could start off this relationship with at least some mutual respect for each other. If you don't know me, how could you respect me? Because I respect you as a human being, as a woman. I, I, I do respect that. Yes, I do. 30,000 sexy guys in New York City. I get a guy that respects women. Can I pour this myself? I promise I won't go past the pencil mark. Is it possible that you're actually as cold as you sound? I need gloves to take off my underwear. Flippant, wise, and cold. You don't permit yourself to be honest and open for a minute, do you? Barney, I'm gonna give you one free hint so the afternoon isn't a total write-off. If you want undying love and romance, take a guitar and go to Spain. I'm leaving for good. My peak has ebbed. Cold, callous, and unemotional. Those are my attorneys. You know where to get in touch with Forgive me for saying so, but it's a pretty frightening way of going through life. You're forgiven. Frightening, sad, and pitiful. You soul-searching, finger-smelling hypocrite. Who are you to tell anybody how to go through life? What would you have done if I came in here all fluttery and blushing and, oh, Mr. Cashman, don't put your hand there, I'm a married woman. Would you have told me how much you admire me, respect me, and at the moment of truth even love me? You know damn well tomorrow you'll be back behind that counter opening your clams and oysters and praying to God I never come back into your restaurant. And you know something? That's the way it should be. Forgive me for the terrible, sinful thing I'm about to say, but I happen to like the pure physical act of making love. It warms me, it stimulates me, and it makes me feel like a woman. That's another ugly story. That's what I came up here for, and that's what you were expecting. I don't know about your problems. I don't care. Keep your savory salmon saute stories to yourself. Nobody really cares about anything or anyone in this world except himself. And there's only one way to get through it with your sanity. If you can't taste it, touch it, or smell it, forget it. You want a copy of that speech and 25 cents in a self-addressed envelope. Please don't go yet. Wait five more minutes. It's getting late. I have to feed the lion at six. If I have to lock you in, I'm going to lock you in. You saw me opening clams. You know I'm stronger than you. Well, wouldn't you know it? Quarter to four, and you finally show me some brute force. Just sit there. Don't talk, don't cough, don't breathe. Just sit there and shut up until I tell you you can go. If I get nothing else from you this afternoon, it's gonna be your undivided goddamned attention! Excuse me.